Hey everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Sapphire. What's up? We're gonna fight this bitch. <laughs> hey, bitch. So, how about a little battle? How about a little... Dick. He like points at his dick and it actually is small. She's like, oh my god. Why? <laughs> good. Hmm, good. I don't okay. know. I, I feel like we haven't done a whole lot in like the past week that we haven't seen each other. We don't really do any. Like, I, I just I know, like we neither of us have like super exciting lives, so we never really have like, oh man, I fucking went skydiving and got laid by three fucking babes. They were like fours, but it was still skydiving sex. So it got that going for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four out of a hundred. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's so not good. Why'd you brag about that? <laughs> You could have just said skydiving. I would have been impressed. Now I'm unimpressed. Now I'm sad. <laughs> now I'm sad for you. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna... We're gonna have a starter fight. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. Been playing a lot of Halo 5. I, I bought... Ha, <laughs> bitch! I've been actually thinking about how much... Like, how many games I've bought, like, on day one of their launch. And just, like... It's more than I've ever bought, ever in my life. It's probably because I have money now. But I bought Witcher 3 the day it came out. Didn't want to. I fucking bought um, Metal Gear Solid, Phantom Pain. I got the Taken King, which I really didn't want to buy. And I probably will never go back to. But I had fun with it. Halo 5. I'm going to get Fallout on Tuesday. I'm going to get fucking... I bought Elite Dangerous the day that came out. That was 60 bucks, And I barely played that at all. Um, what the fuck else? Got Grand Theft Auto 5. I got the Battlefront is gonna come out soon. Yeah, I'm gonna have to buy that. I don't know. That, that's like that's eight games I've bought this year at, at full price, and I can't think of one that I still enjoy, minus Halo Five. Yeah, that's I'm trying to learn from that because I've I've also like there'll be games I'm super excited about, and yeah. like I guess I don't do enough research about the games, and so I buy them. And I pay a bunch of money, or even more than they're worth, because I did get the extra shit. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, nope, I don't enjoy this game at all. I don't. I, this maybe, isn't fun. Maybe it's just the style, the style of game. Because I, I'm, I'm more of a um, sit down and kill shit and explode shit kind of a guy. I have fun with indie games. Like I, I love Shadow of the Colossus and Silent Hill shit. games, and you know shit like that. But um, Phantom Pain is a little too open. And it's a little too, I, I don't know, kind of dull at sometimes. With The Witcher 3, I didn't think was very exciting at all. I thought that was going to be way more monster hunting. And it's pretty much just like farm resources to kill a monster. And it's going to be kind of fun. And then the story wasn't that good either. Oh, Dragon Age Inquisition. I bought that last year, but I had no fun with that at all. I'm looking at games that came out in 2015 to see, to try to remember if, if I bought any of these. Because I've bought games now just like, this is fucking stupid, and I don't play it anymore. Um, I'm just looking around. I want to play Dying Light. I bought the, the new Saints Row 4 that came out this year. I still want to do the Order 1888. I got Evolve. I remember I bought Evolve. That was stupid. Yeah, I didn't buy Evolve. I'm glad I didn't. Stupid. It might have been fun if you and I played together, but... But I'm never playing again. Yeah, but we didn't. Because I hate you. Xenoverse came out February 24th. Yeah. That was a while ago. Yeah, I got it last semester and I played it for a little bit and then I was like, oh, this is <laughs> way too <laughs> tedious <laughs> for me. Oh, this is stupid. <laughs> uh, Assassin's Creed came out a while ago. So yeah, nothing's really... Battlefield Hardline came out this year. It came out on March 17th. We should play that, actually. I don't know. I'm actually not sure if your computer could handle it. I don't know. But it's fun. Bloodborne, Bloodborne came out this year. I want to play that. I want to try to get a PS4 for uh, Christmas. That way we could have more yeah. stuff. Do you have both consoles? Yes. And also, I'm really mad. Really fucking mad. Because Dark Souls 2, Scarlet of the First Sin Edition, you can buy that for Xbox One. And I saw it, it was like 30 bucks, and I was like, I kind of want to play Dark Souls. And I was like, you have it on PC. But Xbox One. Yeah, like, dude, why would you waste? I didn't. Your money? I didn't. I know. I didn't. But I. I really thought about it. Mortal Kombat Ten. X, is X Ten? Yeah. Okay. Roman numerals. Yeah. Mortal Kombat Ten came out this year. Didn't play that yet. 
Shovel Knight. Oh. The new Shovel Knight. Yeah, the PS4 Shovel Knight. State of Decay came out for the Xbox One. Weird. Your One Survival Edition. You need to get a new PC so you can play stuff. I can <laughs> because play stuff. Like, good stuff. Like, State of Decay and, I don't know, Battlefront. Grand Theft Auto is on really low quality. Yeah. It's actually on the lowest quality it'll let me, which is normal. And Witcher, th Witcher 3 came out May 19th. We were playing The Witcher when we were still setting up the channel. Yes. And now neither of us are playing it. Yeah. I was looking at it, I was like, what game could I play? I could play Witcher, and I was like, I'm going to play Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> I could play all these games. Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> it's just immediately, nope, done. Elder Scrolls came to the Xbox One on June 9th. That was a game. I bought Elder Scrolls. Yeah. And I was super pumped about it. And I just... I. Didn't give a shit. I didn't get into it. I still want to play Arkham Knight. I can now since I have an Xbox One. But for a while, they uh, I think they still um, discontinued the PC version because it fucking would just crash on people. And it ran at like half the frame rate. And it, it, they ref I remember uh, they refunded a bunch of people's copies of the game just because it broke on day one. And then they're like, no one can buy it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You're all done. Yeah, I'm really sick of games that are just broken on day one. Grand Theft Auto had that when I bought it. Yeah, I know. A lot of games have had it. Black Ops 3 is apparently having it. Master Chief Collection had it last year. Unity had it. Watch Dogs had it. Arkham City now has it. Um, Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4. Um, Jesus Christ, there have been a lot of games. And people just rush. It, it's just because they want to rush and get their game out by the tail end of October. Like, if, if a game doesn't come out during that holiday season, they're like, well, fuck it. It's, we're never going to make money. Just ship it. Ship it broken. And then people still buy it, but they fucking hate it. Syndicate, uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate just came out. And sales for that have been, like, a record blow. Because Unity sucked balls. You yeah. bought Unity, too. I bought Unity. Talked about that for a while. I got, I got it on sale, too. It's not like I bought that one full price. And, like, it wasn't even worth that. I know. It's a Godzilla game that came out. There's a Godzilla game? Yeah, you actually play as the monsters and, like, fight in a city. Hmm, it's, like a fighter, it's like a fighter game. I, it looks okay. I mean, it's probably not... A good game, but it's probably a great game if you're like a hardcore Godzilla fan. And I am. I'm a pretty good Godzilla fan. God of War 3 Remastered came out on PS4. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like whatever. I got an I got not an argument. I got an, in a debate with someone at work. They're like, PS4 is way better than the X Bone. Apparently, people call it the X Bone. I don't, I, I don't know why, because they're I, cockheads. Because they're cockheads. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like there's nothing fun that I want to play on the PS4. Bloodborne. And that's just harder Dark Souls. And that's fucking it. Well, I mean, you can most games you can play on either system, so it doesn't matter. I know. Like, the games I want to play on this, I want to play Halo. I want to play Gears of War. That's probably about it. Those are the exclusives that I really want to play. Maybe a Fable game that comes out. But that's it. Battlefront, I can play. Like, oh, Call of Duty gets all their DLC first. Eat my dick. Okay. I buy Call of Duty like five months after it comes out anyways. Same thing for the DLC. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legend of the Duelist I bought that, that's actually fun it's just the updated version of the game that you and I played on the PS3 mm. it's kind of dumb because you don't just get cards for beating people, you get like 3 cards but you get in-game points that you spend on card packs in the game to unlock cards but once, like, you can only hold 3 cards in like, your game trunk at a time and I think there's some cards I must have gotten like 7 or 8 times and it's just like, well, you don't add that. It doesn't get added. It's just you. It's just a duplicate. Thanks. Fucker. Sorry. I'm mad about stuff. <laughs> I got a bike! Yeah! Do you... There's another Amnesia game. Oh, it's for the Vita. Gears of War Ultimate Edition came out. That actually looks fun. Because that's an Xbox One game. They, they uh, just redid the graphics. Dishonored Definitive Edition. Damn it, none of these are PC. I'm looking at all these games, and it's like none of the stuff that you can play. Um, I had to explain to Ian. He didn't... One of my roommates... Oh, actually, he was Ian, a guest. Ian was on the show. Yeah. Um, he, he was like, wait, how are you playing Grand Theft Auto right now? I was like, on my laptop. He's like, but... You don't have a console? I was like, no, I just play it on my laptop, and then I just oh. put it on... Ian doesn't know about PC games. Well, like, he just didn't realize that I... So I told him, like, basically, 
my PlayStation is my console because I just exactly like how you do my PlayStation. No, my my laptop. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> my, my laptop is my console. Yeah. And so yeah, I was like like your PlayStation or the Xbox One. Like it's just the system cord into TV play. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, that's what I do. You just blow his mind. He's just like, oh, oh my. I do need to update. I'm not going to anytime soon. I would like you to. There's a lot of stuff that we can play. Um, well, because if I'm going to... like, Actually, that, you need to for XCOM. That's going to fucking explode your PC. No. Yeah. No. For XCOM 2. I want that game. I know. You really want it. Um, well, because like, if I'm going to... I'm not going to just buy a better PC lap, like gaming laptop. If I'm going to spend a bunch of money on something, I'm just going to get a desktop. Dude, dude, this this is a good piece like gaming laptop. For like a year. Mine it's was fine now. Mine was supposed to be fantastic when I got it as a graduation present. Mm. It, mm. it yours only has slightly better like graphics card. No, nah, not slightly better. Fuck you. It's a lot better. Fuck you. <laughs> Pokemon in this show. I was actually thinking about this. Season one of Pokemon and season one of Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, just, just kind of said like fuck it with um like the rules of like what Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh actually are because like I remember in like one of the early episodes of Pokemon like some dude has like a bell sprout and they're battling a muck and muck just kind of moves really close to bell sprout and falls on him and it's like he won it's like you don't can't fucking do that that's not a thing and in Yu-Gi-Oh I remember cuz it's fucking weird um Yugi plays like there's a card that's like graveyard mammoth it's just like a big mammoth skeleton and he plays this card that's like a bow and arrow and he shoots the mammoth into one of Kaiba's blue eyes white dragons and it stays in there and his blue eyes starts to melt oh yeah what the fuck they, what's any of that <laughs> yeah they just they did whatever the fuck they wanted yeah. <laughs> and like the one when Joey and Yugi have to battle those two twins in the labyrinth thing and their, po- yeah. and their cards had to move through the labyrinth. That's also not a thing. At all. I mean, the one video game I played, if I still had my PlayStation 2, I would, like, I'd want us to play it on the channel as a random thing. It was like the Rose Card Duelist or something. But it was, it was like that. It was a combination of, like, chess and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Do you remember Dungeon Dice Monsters? You don't remember that? No. Did we play it? No, it was on the show. Um, I don't remember the guy's name, but Yugi battles him. And he was like, I'll duel you, but we have to do it in a game that I invented with rules that I pretty much just made up like on the spot. And he was like, if I win, I get to be the king of games, even though it's a, technically a, a different game, but fuck you. <laughs> and Yugi kicks his ass. <laughs> just, just, okay. it, was stu- it was stupid. Like You had die, you had to like roll him, and it was like you had to stack up certain amounts of like attack and defense things. And you had to, like, play, uh... Like, you had little pieces, which was cool, because, like, you... Even if you didn't play the game, Yu-Gi-Oh! pieces. Awesome. It was stupid, though. <laughs> it was really interesting. It was cool! <laughs> now that I'm talking about it... Was it was cool really... because it was different, but it was stupid because it's fucking stupid! <laughs> like, what makes Yu-Gi-Oh! fun is getting the cards, not... Like, you could totally tell it's just meant to make money. They just wanted to sell tiny Yu-Gi-Oh! figures. They're expensive as fuck, too. And they also had the bullshit that was like, here's one guy and five random guys. It's like, what did I get? Five beaver warriors. Why? <laughs> Who makes these? <laughs> it was always like, here's a, here's a fucking dark magician. What else do I get? You get st- mad sunflower. Why is this a thing? <laughs> what else do you have? Oh, shoe? Is this a card? <laughs> <laughs> like the people just got bored and were writing with crayon M- like shoe, making their own- <laughs> shoe mouth and it's just like it's like a cabinet like, what <laughs> why what's its attack X <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed what's to do defense and it has like a pokeball symbol it's like they're not even fuck, like they're not even trying <laughs> it's just it's, what but what <laughs> you know what Next time on Pokemon Sapphire, everybody, we have to end this episode yeah, okay, right now. Fine. Um, next time, I'm going to look up Dungeon Dice Monsters. <laughs> okay, fine. Next time, see you guys.